questions here. If anybody has any questions they want to ask us, go ahead. Who's driving the boat now? <laughs> My kids actually take care of the boat and ship it over to them, Scott. How do you guys stay so young doing what you do? It's all there, man. <laughs> We love it. <laughs> Where are you drinking later? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, we usually eat so much on the boat, but uh, I love eating king crab all the time. I order it all the time. That's more than good. Cold butters. Cold butters, shellfish, I love. You guys think when you signed up for this years ago, you'd be thrown around signing your book? No. <laughs> we originally signed on. Uh, just to get it documented, you know, because we've taken home videos and stuff and told our parents about what we do and they, they just don't realize, you know, what it's like. So, and then the show just turned out to be this huge thing. Surprised the hell out of us. Where do you live? Where, where do you actually live? Um, we live on the boat mostly six months on the boat. But I mean, you know, what location? What and then Andy lives in Indiana. I call it Indiana. <laughs> uh, I live in uh, Washington and, and uh, Seattle. Oh, Seattle. Uh, and you just oh, Seattle, right. You guys go up there for six months and just... Oh yeah, I do another two months on the, on the water chasing salmon. Where are you it's drinking salmon. later? <laughs> Where are you drinking later? Where are we drinking? The closest bar. <laughs> the closest bar. We got one in the bookstore. Oh, the bookstore? I'll meet you there. <laughs> What's the future of crab fishing? It looks good. The stocks look good. Uh, when the show first came out, uh, we had our lowest point. We weren't making much money. And now we're, we're making about what we average. And usually a band actually make 20 grand a month. It's like minimum wage. Very much even minimum wage. I like our guys made 110 grand in that month, some debt this year. How much has it changed since it got regulated a couple years ago, differently? It's just we fish off longer. We fish longer now. There's still a race to catch the crab. Well, it just sucks when the, the government stepped in and, and changed it all. Not to make it safer, but it just pretty much took a lot of our freedoms away. But it is what it is. The stocks are coming back, so it's good. How much do you do to go through on a trip? We're not allowed to say who's dropping that. They say you can't get better than a pickup truck with this Europe Red Cross pickup truck. How much diesel do you guys go through on a trip? Oh yeah, well, the diesel prices are killing us. We, yeah. we, we burn them all up. It's about $80,000 with the floor of my house. A month? Wow. The price wow. So wow. It's killing us. It's killing everybody, you know. Wow. What was that, sir? Oh, the camera pays us when we bring the crab in, and then we pay 30% out to our deck for the deck hands and stuff. But that's after we pay for the fuel on the bait, so that's why fuel is bad, man. That is for our bottom line. Take all our roll of discovery money we make. Discovery doesn't pay us much, so we make all our money back. Um, two more years. Two more years? You say you didn't get paid? Not we, very much. We still can't believe everyone's still watching the show. It's just, oh, crap, boss. Every time you see crap, boss, come up. <laughs> Does it really annoy you to have these guys in your face 24-7? We, we sort of get to know them. We, we, we have fun with them. They actually cook a meal for us once in a while. But we, we don't really watch out for them. They, they, don't, they don't understand. You know, they say, don't stand there for a reason. Then they, and you'll see the pot fall out there. And then we'll go, wow, but I wasn't standing there. <laughs> How many people do they bring on their trip? We get two cameramen. Usually you'll have one guy will end up being an inside guy, and one guy's outside guy. These these guys are adventurers too. They, some of these guys have you know, been, been in Iraq and jumped out of airplanes and fall firefighters down. So these guys done some crazy stuff, these kind of men. Not as crazy as you though, right? Yeah, they, they, they go, wow, what the hell? <laughs> It doesn't do the justice like when I was watching the, looks like a steady platform when you see those big waves coming over. Well, that boat's rolling 40 degrees like this. 
and that wave's going over, but you don't see it on TV. The camera can stay in one spot and you get seasick as well. Did you ever let a girl be a greenhorn? <laughs> they actually had an all girl uh, crew one time. Um, it'd be like having four girls on a boat, one guy on a boat. That'd be his dream come true. <laughs> It just makes it tough in closed tight spaces and uh, there, there, there have been all girl crews or girls have been on boats. Well, everybody be thinking about that girl, you know, a couple months of see and things. <laughs> 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 hey, how did you guys get started in this? Well, you gotta read our book. <laughs> Yeah, we always, uh, we our dad fished when we were real young. My oldest memory is Andy doesn't like this because my oldest memory is he was crying. <laughs> and, uh, I was trying to get to the bunk where he was crying, and my dad threw me back in my bunk during a storm, a little tiny 42 foot creature down. And uh, we used to watch him so often in the sunset, and he was home with the one who always wanted to be a crabber. What would your dad think of you guys being on the discovery? Yeah, he'd be on his dad. He wasn't a people guy at all. <laughs> <laughs> so we were about him. How many ground boats go out every season normally? We have about 70 of us now out there, and about 420 guys on all the boats. So How'd they pick you guys? We, we, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> we, we always had a good reputation catching crabs, so. They tried to get us the first year. We said no because we're too cool. <laughs> we decided to do it just, just for the document for everything. And it's sort of, you know, a show between fixing them up for a neuter and a cow or something at midnight. And then it turned into this big, big thing, you know. So. Where's your family from? Your um, we're from Sweden and Czechoslovakia. Crazy Sweden, go around. Crazy Czechs and dumb Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> my, my kids want to know if you get seasick. I, I do. I, I... He pukes every time we go out. <laughs> but then he gets over it. He just got to fight it. He just can't let it. Just keep eating. After a couple days, you get used to it. But I, I've got to get thrown into the walls and stuff. <laughs> Trying to run down. And then the engine room's full of diesel smell. Hotter than hell. And i got to go down there every half hour and check it. You know? So... Have you thought about doing anything other than what you're doing now? So now that you've reached your, you know, now that you've achieved stardom, have you thought of changing <laughs> career? We're going to start him. We're like, we're like Danny from a blue TV. How did you reach your best Danny? We're going to skip it over the way. What's the like? They, they show it pretty darn well, because the first year we, when we turned it down, we didn't really want to go on some kind of stupid reality show. So they, they, they show it as good as they can. They, they got 16,000 hours of footage, and they have to put it down to 16 hours. So, you know, we've, they've, they've had people saying, oh, editing this and editing that. But it's pretty much how it goes down on the boat that I remember what happens on us, you know. What's the craziest thing a fan has sent you in the mail? Like we, we had underwear, but we got like insects sent to us, they eat this stuff guy, and but you know, like, eat this stuff guy. <laughs> but I have some kid I wrote, but I write about it, shut up and fish. <laughs> he, says, he sends me this thing back, says, no, you shut up and fish. <laughs> some kid.